I've been asked to make another video on the operation of the crank cocker. Uh, one thing before we start, there's four holes that your crank cocker can go into. I've taken this grease pencil and made some yellow marks where the holes are because if you try and cock it outside in a low light condition you won't be able to see these holes. So I marked them and I marked the crank cocker as well where the uh, the pin is. This is your paw. I'm going to pull your paw back and to release the spool line your marks up you've made you got your crank in there come back here pull this up while you're cranking backwards crank backwards pull out back up so you can see a little better keep pulling your string out latch your hooks on the bow string come back here and engage your paw start cranking not hard to crank at all. Much easier in the rope cocker. You'll hear two clicks. A small click. There's the first one. Then the second one. There's the second one. Hold pressure on your crank. Push back on your paw. Release it slowly. Pull your cocking mechanism out over the scope, reel it back in, snap it back on the holder, engage your paw, crank it to where it won't rattle or make noise, unscrew your crank and that's it. I had another request when I made the installation of the crank cocker there's a black four well like a cheek rest that went on there people said they had trouble getting that off I just pried it apart it was two piece socketed together of course you can't use the cocker to uncock it so you have to shoot it okay thanks